Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I take another first look, this time at Titanus by Silver Goblet Games. That's right, I am using my announcer voice. No, I'm kidding, guys. It is simply what it is. It's a 2D side-scrolling, wonderful, fun little game. It is not super crazily overpaced. The gameplay and the pacing is actually a little bit on the slower side, which I'm okay with because I find that a lot of times when you have like platforming or 2D side-scrolling, platforming, shooting games where you have to do bullet dodging and stuff like that, it's all so fast and it's just, it's chaos. And sometimes it's too much chaos. This one takes a little bit of a slower approach and I like that. And there's a lot of upgrades and things that you can unlock. So I'm pretty eager to show this one off. This has been on my to-do list for a while and I've actually attempted it a few times. And unfortunately, I found out that I'm either stupid or unattentive or I don't pay much attention. I guess one of those things. Uh, the recording software I use is OBS. It's Open Broadcaster Software. It works fantastically most of the time. However, I realized today when I couldn't get this to work and I actually contacted the developer and they're like, oh, hey, yeah, here, check this out. I'll try this and this. And he gave me some help. And eventually I realized I wasn't using the 64-bit version of OBS. And I believe when I originally installed it, it didn't give me the option to install... 64-bit or 32-bit. I think it installed both or it only installed 32-bit and when it did that It eventually upgrades it does auto updates So eventually maybe it downloaded a 64-bit version when it was ready and I never noticed that it said it did that and I never swapped So that could have been a cause for many of the problems that I've experienced over the course of my LP because I've been using the wrong bit version of the software so, all that being said, let's hop in and get started, guys. I didn't mean to ramble on too, too much there, but, eh, we can get started, and, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. We're looking like Kano from, uh, the Mortal Kombat series. I like it. Somewhere in the desert, there's a truck. Inside the truck is Kano and his friend, Slash. Hey, Slash, where is the settlement we are looking for? It should be right up ahead, somewhere. It better be. We've been driving through this desert for two days. Their distress signal says they are under attack. We've got to help them. I still think this is a bad idea. There better be a good reward in this. There it is, up ahead. I'll jump out here and clear this area, then meet you at the town. Alright, let's do it, eh? And here we are. Now we get to sit here and kind of rock out to the music. But that's probably not what you guys want to see. Alright, so we can move around with the WASD keys. Well, technically the A and D keys. W is to climb ladders and spacebar is to jump. You also can hold left shift to run and then left click is your auto attack. And right click is your secondary attack, I guess. And then you'll also be able to unlock additional skills with Q and E. So, that being said, let's get to it, shall we? We shall fight the many, many sand moles of the desert. Now, I've been doing this wrong the whole time, by the way, guys. You can just left click, left click, left click, and kill them. Or you can right click, stun them, and then own their face. Also, if you don't want to get that close and, you know, it takes time to do that, you also do more damage with your right click attack. So, I like to do a double and then a right click to finish them. Anytime you see a yellow number, it is a critical strike, much like you would expect. And that's pretty much the very, very basics of it. We're going to try to get through four or five missions in this, so I'm just going to kind of speed through as quickly as I can, which might be terrible. Oh, we just got hit there. I was a little slow with my right click, or maybe it delayed slightly. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm probably terrible. Whoa, giant bug. Oh, no. Well, sadly, giant bug did not offer much in the way of resistance. You, come back here. Hey, I said get over here. Alright, we shall killeth you, and, oops, oh, what I missed, I'm terrible. See, look at that, guys. I told you I'm bad at stuff. I was not wrong. Giant green bug of death, hello. Alright, so we've dodged some bullets, we've dodged some green booger snots, and that's probably a pretty good idea, because, you know, it's messy, it's sticky, it gets everywhere, you really don't want that. I can press F to use a potion if I wanted to, but guess what I don't want to do? I don't want to press F to use a potion, so I won't do it. They can't make me. Hey, come to me. You green slime bug will die a horrible death. And then there was a sand mole cricket up here. We're going to murder his facha, or ow, his face. Apparently not. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know. I guess maybe I was shooting the ground in front of him? I'm not sure. Not sure what happened there, but that's okay. We will continue our murderous ways. And, oh gosh, my timing's all off now. I just did this guy's testing it, and I'm like, okay, I'm ready, I can do this now. I played through like four or five missions, I'm like, alright, we got this. And I looked, I'm like, yeah, it's about 25, 27 minutes after four missions, so... I'm assuming if I go a little bit quicker, we'll be able to get through it a little faster. The town is straight ahead, I'll find a place to park the truck and meet you inside. Alright, primary objective complete. Boom, or main objective complete. All right, we got 50 gold coins, and we got one skill point upgraded. All right. We shall talk to the fools. The locals call this place Titanus. Apparently, dun-dun-dun, they've been under attack by strange creatures from the desert. I parked the truck near the middle of the town. The first order of business is to get the town's antenna up and running again. Use the control panel next to the truck to select a mission. Before you head out, click on your weapon rack to give yourself a new skill. All right. We can buy potions from him. This guy's the medical supply officer. This guy's a blacksmith who will eventually be able to upgrade our wonderful weapons. We're going to, like I said, skip over some of the stuff, guys. And here is our weapon rack. We're going to go with this one. Cluster bomb. I like it. I like the cluster bomb. So there we go. We're going to go with that. And we're going to go over here, and we're going to go to our first mission. And we are here now. And it is time. Check this out, guys. I'm going to bug the game out right here because I'm awesome like that. Okay, I say I'm going to do these things, but apparently that's... There it is. Alright, ready? And bloop! What the heck just happened? Nobody knows. Does it matter? Nope, not really. Alright, so down you go. Oh, we got some, some jamming tunes coming again. That's right. I made you stop on top of the grenades. I have no idea whether the grenades themselves hurt us or not. I assume they probably should. But I don't know. I've never tested it, and I don't really want to test it. It seems like a really foolish and suicidal test, if you think about it. Come on. We can do this. I've done this a hundred times already. Alright, fine. We're not going to do it. I did do it last time, guys. I'm, I'm telling you. I actually made that jump. Whoa. Hello. Let me shoot the ground in front of the bug, because that is exactly what we need to do. Stop it. You guys are cheating. You're using skills. Yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. Positioned well. That's fine. We have 100 health. We're not taking much damage. Alright. Oh, there's a claw for a, a mole cricket over there. That's creepy. I know. It's a desert mole. Oh, apparently I... Hmm. I see stuff on my radar that I don't recall seeing before. Are they enemies, or are they just things that I need to loot? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, but as you guys see, I'm terrible at platforming. There we go, victory is mine! Okay, we're nearly to where we need to be. Of course, we have a bug problem still. And bam, down he goes, and we can loot that up. We've collected two out of three supplies. And we are well on our way to victory here. Boom goes the... Well, I guess they're technically grenades. They're not really dynamite, so... That phrasing probably doesn't work super well here. Alright, down he goes. Victory is ours. Onward we go! And I think we're nearly done with this level as well. We'll probably have to kill like two or three more things. Uh, there it is. And we'll... Oh, gosh! The Q strike did not work, but that's okay. We have a clear shot here with no way for the enemy to retaliate. It's like retaliating, but it's retaliatory striking and retaliate at the same time. So it's retali retaliate, I think is what I said. Yeah, so we're gonna go with it. I like it. Sweet, sweet, nice. And eventually, victory will be ours. You sand mole, fear me. Or don't. You don't have to fear me. Oh, oh, what's that under your feet? That's right. Death. Death is under your feet. Alright, we have defeated him as well. And soon and very soon, there will be nothing left. Actually, I think we are at the end right here. We have to defeat 
like one thing here. Hold on, wait a minute. Let's kill that guy. And ha! That's right. There was two. I know. Tricky, right? It might be tricky to rock a rhyme, rock a rhyme that's right on time, but it's also tricky to do what we just did there. Great, you fixed the antenna. Now I can communicate with you while you are out on missions. I've sent a teleporter to your location. Click on the teleporter to get back to town. All right, let's do it. And here we are. We are back in town. All right, so we're going to head on to the eastern side of the town once again. He's still complaining about his power supply missing. And we're going to go and upgrade ourselves with another super powerful ability. And, well, I don't know if it's super powerful, but it is indeed an ability. And we're going to get some ice storm going on in here. We'll drag it down, and there it is. Alright, uh, good job fixing the antenna. Now I'll be able to communicate with you while you're out on missions. Bryce is in desperate need of a power supply for his workbench. My scanner shows that there seems to be a strong power source located in a cave just outside of town. Find it for him, and I'm sure he will upgrade some of your items. Yeah! So, here we go. Let's go and get this handled. You gotta love the music, guys. The music is awesome. Pretty much everything about the game, I actually really do enjoy the game. Sometimes people are be like, well, it seems really simplistic. Hey, I don't mind simple games, guys. I mean, if you take a look at turn-based strategy games, for the most part, you know, sure, there's there's obviously strategy involved and a lot of thinking and everything else, and you got to plan out what you're going to do, on and on. You know, there's, there's a lot to be said where it's not simplistic, but it really is, if you think about it, the gameplay and the mechanics of the game, really simplistic. You take a turn, an enemy takes a turn, or however it decides to pan out, sometimes it's your entire turn, then the enemy takes their turn, or an initiative-based thing. I mean, overall, though, it's still very, very simplistic. So, I don't mind simplistic games. I really don't. Alright, I don't mind my neighbors most of the time, but when they start up their truck while I'm doing recordings, it's not super fun. It's okay. It'll be over soon, guys, and then we'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming. Hmm. Alright, you guys get to see the ice thing. Yay, victory! So that stays there for a while. Oh my gosh. Please move your truck. Oh, the exhaust is gonna kill me. Ugh, I might end up dying in the middle of this, guys. Alright, so I'm gonna pretend like I can actually breathe and I'm not breathing in toxic fumes right now, but I don't really think that's a thing I can pretend. Right now I'm breathing in like pure exhaust. I really hate that uh, he parks his truck right there. Doesn't do it often though. He used to do it all the time, so it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be. It smells like a lawnmower is running right inside the room next to me and I'm sucking on the exhaust pipe. It's terrible. It's quite bad. But we're gonna pretend like this is all part of the, the desert wasteland out here and we're trying to make a living and there's toxic fumes. That's what we're gonna pretend. So this is pretty much how the guy would talk anyway. Alright, now we have a new enemy here who likes to launch these stupid little bouncy um, giant boogers and it's mildly inconvenient. Ow, and they slow you if they hit you as you guys just saw right there. I thought I could get under it in time, but unfortunately not. I should have zigged when I zagged, I should have zagged when I zigged, it's fine. It's totally fine. Also, let's say there should be an enemy around here somewhere. Now this is not the ideal placement for one of those enemies, I'm just saying. It's really easy to dodge them when you're directly underneath them. A little less easy when you have to back up like I did. Oh man, you really got me with that? It's a bit disappointing. We're still 75 out of 100 health. It's not that big of an issue. I'm gonna make sure we kill off all of this stuff first. Oh, really? Oh, yes, yes, yes. We have to kill Juan, Sa Juan Sandoval up here. There it is. Alright, so down he goes. What else do we have? You, Mr. Mole Man. Ow. Curse my non-ability to duck. My guy does apparently he has bad knees. He can't duck. He can jump, weirdly enough. But ducking? Nope. Out of the question. It's totally fine, guys. Alright, side objective complete. And I'll show you what the side objectives are. Now, this is a super chest here. It gives you lots and lots of stuff. It's always good to try and locate and find and kill and eat and dissolve and whatever other weird adjectives you want to use, or verbs, verbs, I guess those are verbs, whoa, bouncy snot stuff, yay, alright, well, we should be able to defeat him and avoid his bouncy snot stuff, and be about our business and on our way, and there it is, 
Yeah. Alright, so we dropped another full... Whoa. Ow, I got hit in the shin. And then in the face. And then nowhere. Why? Because I am a super dodger. I see I'm really, really good at dodging, guys. <clears throat> Yeah, not really. Not really good at dodging. But hey, you know what? I've, I've actually done it. I've managed to dodge most of the stuff. And we are nearly to the end of uh, the level. There it is. And there it goes. Victory on uh, that front. Another booger launcher. One, two, and dead. Ow. Again, try to get under it. Wasn't able to. We are super duper slowed right now, but that's okay. <laughs> This is obviously a nest that's going to spawn one of these horrible, awful creatures. Everybody could have guessed that one, including myself, and I did. Because I'm awesome like that. And yet, all we have to do is defeat the final guy there, and that is our victory right there. Alright, main objective complete. Now we need our teleporter to come here, and boom! Back to the town. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is actually save up my next point. And when I save up my next point, that should give me the ability to do stuff. Alright, so here's the workbench. It's now here. I like critical strikes, so I'm going to get that. I also like double jump boots. And I like the ability to see health bars of enemies above their head. So that's the upgrades I'm going to choose. There's a few others that are pretty good. Traction spikes reduces slow and stun effects by 20% per point. You have potion slots that you can carry additional points. Uh, or potions, you can get additional health points here. And... Enemies can no longer critically strike you, you have cooldown reduction, and you also have tempered bullets, which gives you plus 5% damage per point. Up to 5, and then there's things that you can actually unlock, and then over here, show enemies on the radar. And using a potion will instantly restore all cooldowns. So that is that, ladies and gentlemen. So what we're going to do now is, I'm going to skip over this, I'll show you what I'm, I have planned. I'm going to go for one of these two-point dealies, so that's going to be the play. So, we're just going to go in and we're going to hop in here and do the power generator. Repair the power generator, blah, 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 and find the weapon cache, right? And no offense to the writing. Again, we're, we're going for speed right now, guys. I actually think the writing's quite well done. And here's destroy a large debat nest and kill the giant debat. Okay, well, let's get to it, shall we? I had a little bit of an issue there. I don't know what was going on, but eh, whatever. It's fine, guys. It's totally 100% fine. All right, so we are going to do battle with the sand moles of, of Alcatraz here. And we'll see what that will get us. All right. Well, right now it's not getting us much of anything, but it's the start. Hey, when I right-click, you obey. That is how it works. Alright, so the plan, I guess, first is I'm going to go across the top of this, and then we'll see where that takes us. And then we'll go along the bottom. After the fact. Alright, well, guess what? You guys done just got yourselves owned, or pwned, as it were. Alright, looks like we murdered off some of our little bug friends. That's totally fine with me. That's interesting. Apparently I had a mole hat. Who knew? Who knew that would be a thing? Alright, murdering stuff right behind the wonderful radar. Oh, we have moles. Fantastic. Aw. Well, that's weird. Were they on, like, a cooldown or something? Yeah, you done just got owned. You got pwned. P-W-N-T. Pwned. Alright, so... I actually had a little bit of a, a glitch there. Apparently, um... I don't know what happened. Something loaded and then the screen started flashing black and it was... I don't know. It was weird. I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit strange. We're just gonna face tank some of the stuff because why? Well, we can, for one. And two... Everybody loves face tanking, right? It's, it's kind of the way of the world. Alright, we'll come back to this in a minute. We are here. And you are no longer there. Alright, so we're actually going to drop down into this little hole. We're going to backtrack and kill everybody that we can possibly find. And it's going to be sweet, sweet, nice. Alright, down he goes, we'll come up here, we'll fire on him, he 
fired a single shot. That was weird. You guys see that? What the heck was that all about? Can't just fire a single shot. Remember, we have a double jump. Ooh, and an invisible rock here. What? Side objective complete. And another big chunk of coins, it looks like. Yeah, give me them coins. What? Plus, we got an additional skill point, And we got 25. So then we unlocked a... I don't know. Looks like a radar thing. Which would be cool if it works. I don't know if it does, though. We'll find out. Like, I don't see the enemies on the radar right now. It looked to me like that's what that did. But, hey, why are these guys not flying, too? That seems a bit odd. They were just stationary the whole entire time. Oh, look at you guys doubling up on awesome here. Oh, we got hit again. Alright, so my health has never been this low before. But the, the cool thing is, now that we are at 3 out of 3 potions, we can no longer lose... Well, we can no longer gain any potions. So, any of our lost health will actually be made up for immediately. Which, like I said, pretty cool thing. Bad Bumpy is bad. Oh, get... Did, we, did that guy really hit us? Wow, I feel kind of silly. That shouldn't have happened. Well, that, most of the bad things that happen shouldn't be happening, so... I suppose it simply is what it is. Oh, we got hit in the shin there. Did you guys see me actually launch anything out of that? I feel like... I want to see, do they hurt us? They do not. Okay, well that's good to know. Alright, so we're learning stuff a bit by bit, piece by piece. It's totally fine. Alright, a couple more gold coins and we can be on our way now at this point, which is, well, pretty darn fantastic if you ask me. And we'll go one more one more mission after this, guys. Uh, it might be a little bit long for a first look video, but yeah, I don't know. I enjoy playing the game, guys. I thought it was actually quite well done, and like I said, I did try to do coverage of it earlier on, but it did not work out because of me and OBS and not liking each other, and apparently me not being aware of certain things like 64-bit versus 32-bit. There it is. We got 50 health out of a potion. Very, very, very few potions this time around. It's a little bit weird. I'm not going to lie. All right, and I'm going to say good day to you, sir. And good day to you, sir. Now we're going to go back here and deal with whatever's left. We have our booger launcher snot guy. And down he goes. We definitely need to get some more uh, damage from our primary attacks. That is next up on the docket for us. Okay, we've achieved a victory on that side. Let's go see what's down in the hole. Down into the depths, down into the darkness. When no human should ever... Oh boy, this might have been a terrible mistake. Or is it? <laughs> I don't think so. See ya. Alright, cool. Hey, some random dude was down here waiting for us. See that, guys? Alright. So now we've accomplished everything to the left. Now we just have to continue to the right. We shall use our sprint ability. And our ability to jump over tall buildings in a single bound. Look! Up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! Nope, those are just like re weird random boards. Oh, look at that. Yeah, sweet. Some more gold for us. And it doesn't look like there's a way through this rock. Unfortunately. Nope. No way through the rock this time, but that's okay. We will continue to our east, and eventually we shall find our goal. In theory. In theory, we will do these things. Okay, so far so good. No. Bad. Yay, we're back to full health, we have full potions, and we're looking pretty darn good at this point, guys. I will totally accept that and move on. And there's another easy kill. Oops. Aw, oh, we got we got chipped by him. But he dropped a health potion, so it's all good. Alright, well. Little known fact about us, we can double jump. I know it. That's right. We can double jump, ladies and gentlemen. We can double jump. It is a true statement. And one that we are gloriously well known for. 
Our ability to leap more than one singular time is quite impressive. Whoa, hello. Boom. Whoa, it survived that. Holy cow. Holy cow cheese. Wait, what? As opposed to goat cheese. Yes, actually, as opposed to goat cheese. You are 100% correct. No, you will not get me, bug boy. You will not have me. Alright, and I believe a whole bunch of mole men are supposed to spawn or something terrible like that. I vaguely remember the end of this mission. Mole men? No? No mole men? Alright. Well, maybe it's after we collect the final piece of the puzzle. Or perhaps not at all. Okay, so no mole men. Who knew? Who knew? Alright. So now we are set. We're going over here and we're going to see what else we can do, guys. Like I said, it's probably going to go a little bit longer. Normally I like to keep them about 15 to 30 minutes on the super long ones that I do. This one's going to be a little bit longer than that. I, eh, I'm okay with that. Shoots a long range powerful beam of energy that always causes a critical hit. Wow, that seems pretty darn cool. Shoots a rocket that explodes and does high damage. That seems pretty darn cool as well. Oh, we only got... Hmm. I felt like we got an additional skill point. Maybe I wasted the skill point in the last one because I didn't utilize it. It's possible. It is possible. Also, we need to actually equip that. So, let's do that. There we go. Oh, look at that. That was amazing. Did you guys see that? That was ridiculous. Alright, what do you have to say to us, buddy? With that power supply you found, Bryce can finally open up his shop again. Hey, you know what? We didn't actually upgrade ourselves. Let's go do that real quick. And then we'll be about our business and be out of here. I'm all about that right there. Anything less? Nope. Alright, so now we do a little bit more damage with our pew pew shooty action. And we are out of here. We're going to try to do the battle with the giant bat thing. So we'll see how it actually plays out and works. We'll see very, very soon. Hello, mole. Hello, other mole. Hey. I don't feel like we're doing any additional damage with our primary attack. Do you guys feel like we're doing any additional damage? Because it certainly doesn't seem like we are. should be 10% 10, 10 more, but I suppose if you think about it, if we're only doing 10 damage, or less, 10% is only going to be one additional damage on the grand scheme of things. So it's possible that we're doing the additional 10%. It just doesn't seem like it makes much of a difference, I suppose. be the best way I could, I could put it. I could say it. Ooh, that worked out pretty good. I thought maybe, just maybe, I could actually get a little bit more done. Ow! Everybody, chill. Alright, so some free cash money's there. And it looks like we can indeed... Well, I was going to say it looks like we can indeed get our butts up there and do amazing stuff, but then it looked like maybe that's not the case. Oh, that's disappointing. How did he fire that shot? I felt like that was some shenanigans right there. Whoa! Well, we're getting kills slowly, but it is pretty darn slow. But I do like the snipe effect. I think that is actually quite cool. There are some cool different primary attacks as well. Like there's one that you, you fire out a, like a ricocheting blade. Another one where you obviously you fire the rockets. We were looking to get that one. We were considering it for a little while there. And we decided to go with the sniping ability. But still, pretty cool stuff overall, I'd have to say. Come to me, coin. Coin of the realm. Join me. Alright, slowly we murder our way across the lands. Where we stop? Well, hopefully at the end of it we're rich. That's where we stop. And there we go. Okay, we have slain him. For him is a jolly good fellow. No, I'm not going to do that. Alright. Well, it looks like we can go further east, but why, when we have such an easy battle here? See, that, that, that bug had nothing. 
absolutely nothing against us. We are pretty hurt. We need to kill somebody that actually has a potion on them. That would be swell. Please, please give me a swell potion. Or don't. Don't was option two. I feel like maybe we want to backtrack at some point. There it is. I feel like we've skipped over like half the level already. Well, I suppose we could backtrack at some point, but again... Not sure when and where. Alright, well, we'll try it now. Ooh, hello. I figured I'd catch that with my face, just to make you feel better about being terrible at life, Mr. Bug. It's okay. We'll come back down and we'll backtrack and we'll hopefully be able to attain some stuff. Oh, I saw another little black flicker over there, guys. I don't know. It could be my computer's having issues still. I When I restarted my computer today, it was not happy with me again. It wasn't like the death of everything like it was before, but it was definitely not happy and it took a while for everything to come back up and start working the way it was supposed to. So, there is that, ladies and gentlemen. There is that. Okay, it looks like we've dropped everything and we've killed everything off that we can. Let's make sure there's no hidden passageways or anything over here, like this is a see-through rock or something. Oh, it is, see? Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, a domain of evil. That's the esteem achievement I just found. Or achieved, I guess. Gained, attained, obtained? I don't know. Either way, it doesn't sound good, right? The dead of evil. Oh, uh, still blew up or not. Alright, and we got fully healed now. We're rocking health potions that we can use at any point with uh, the F key. Whoa, what the heck was that thing? Oh. It is the queen that we are supposed to be murdering. Okay, we can totally do that. Yeah, we found ourselves a good position here. And we said... We almost said good day to you, madam. Yeah, side objective complete. Look at all the cash money's raining down on our heads. Alright, I am all about this. What? Ooh, we upgraded it some weird purple hand. I'm assuming that's what that is. Could be totally wrong. It might not be a purple hand. It might be, I don't know, a weird, a very, very weird wrench or something along those lines. I'm not entirely certain. But whatever it is, we unlocked it, and that's all that really matters. And I think we're about done with this level and about done with this first look, ladies and gentlemen. Stop it! Yeah, huh? You didn't expect that. No. No, that was that was a bit out of the ordinary, wasn't it? Ow, you shot me. Okay, not much left to do, but murder the rest of them. That's right. You fling your bouncing boogers at me, but it's not going to be enough to stop me. Alright, well, let's get to the end of this if at all possible. Okay, victory is mine against the very, very poorly designed tra- uh-oh. There's some music playing, and it's making me nervous. We have potions here, and we are fully healed. Well, I gotta say, this isn't exactly the, the most terrifying of things. Yeah! We got it! We got the giant nest of death! And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to finish off the episode right here. This is it. This is the end of the first look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. All the information down below in the description of the video will be there for where to get the game, information on the game, the developer, all the stuff I always include, guys. It's going to be down below in the description of the video. Until the very next first look, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.